These days, I'm letting God handle all things above me. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. I'm not ashamed at all. Still finding myself, let alone the soulmate. I'm just saying. Feel like we one and the same. Our relationship changed. Scatter it never existed. Whenever they say something about us, you listen. But fuck what they talking about on your timeline. That's good and all in my time. What it do, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see the name of the title today, I got a special one for you guys. Like I said on my previous videos, every day I do something to the charger, it's always a special one. Whether it's like, you know, just shining it up, whatever. Whatever it is, mod, whatever kind of mod it is, it's a special one for me. But yeah, guys, um, let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing to the vehicle. So we went ahead and purchased a new, not the cold air intake, but the filter. So the blue filter, went ahead and purchased a new one. A little backstory on that. Um, you know, I purchased the cold air filter kit, the whole kit together, like about two years ago, I think, about two years ago. And, you know, ever since I purchased it, I have noticed, like, with Dodge, it's harder to get the little blue air filter because for some reason they're, like, not manufacturing as much anymore. Like, literally, I just ordered one and picked it up from Dodge, and they said um, it came all the way from Detroit. So like, you know, and I bought the kit from over here in Cali, you know what I mean? So uh, I just don't know what's going on with that part. They must have not been making as much for the V6 anymore. Maybe I think they're still making the kit, but they're not making the filters as much or however. You, it's really hard to find the filters. But yeah, guys, um, so I went ahead and purchased the filter. This is like my second filter for the actual color intake. The first one, um, I got it hidden in the garage somewhere. The second one is right here on the vehicle. You know, it's dirty, whatever. That's why I went, I went ahead and got a new one. I got the new one in the trunk. But yeah, guys, for that part though, um, you know, it just been, it was hard. I guess it's just a hard thing to find now because I was looking up online, you know, trying to get a little discount or however. I was looking up online, trying to find a part number and everything I searched up for the cold air intake filter, it just showed like the RTs, the scat packs, like, you know, any V8. It wasn't showing the 3.6 model and I was just confused about that. I had to call Dodge, had to call around and everything. Finally found the part number. Dodge gave me the part number, finally found it. And then they said it's coming out of Detroit. So for it to come out of Detroit and I got the kid in Cali, like, Cause I remember the first time I did switch out the filter, I got the filter from Cali, the same where I got it um, at the same Dodge dealership that I purchased the kit from. But now I guess they're not making them as much, so it's just a little more harder to get them. So if you guys do ever get the colder intake system, or whatever, the Mopar one, the brand Mopar one, um, just look out for that. I, um, you know, it, it is, you can clean these uh, filters. This You can't really clean them. Me, you know, I like to, you know, get the new things, however, but definitely, I'm definitely gonna, clean this this one i have right here and replace it with a new one but you know so i can just keep switching it out and i have to be spending because it was about to get like 80 90 dollars online i think it was about a good 60 but again i think those were for like the rts and i couldn't find the sxt model one but yeah guys um so we went ahead and purchased the new one so this is going to be a quick video but switch it out the air take and then i also did get like a little um what do you call one of these uh it's like a little sock filter sock for whatever for the air the cold the, for the filter for the blue filter because you know the my one i have on now is pretty dirty rocks begin on pebbles be sitting on it you know it's just dirty and, and, and you know so this sock protects it from like you know water or whatever from the dirt or however so we're going ahead and install the um install the filter we're going to put the sock over it the sleeve over it sock sleeve whatever we're going to put sorry guys got a little burp or whatever but we're going to put the sock sleeve whatever on there and then uh, i'll just show you guys the process but yeah guys i appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you guys like comment subscribe and let's get into this video all right guys and we made it to the engine bay as you can see engine bay looking clean we got that mopar cold air intake uh you can see we got the orange coal packs i don't know if you guys seen the engine yet but we got the rip coil packs oil fill i mean oil uh cold air intake we also got the ported uh upper manifold ported lower manifold we did this we swapped out the uh oil cooler because the oil cooler was bad so we had to so before we could do this before we could do this we had to do this and then we did all that so i don't know if you guys checked those videos out yet but if you guys haven't go and check it out out on the channel but yeah today we're going to be go ahead and uh changing out the air filter um it doesn't look too bad but as you can see it is pretty dirty i uh, got some rocks whatever is up in there it's it's for me it's time to change it doesn't look that bad but for me it's time to change it out but yeah guys let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna set you guys up over there we got the box right there it's gonna be a quick little install guys show you guys how to do that but yeah guys let's go ahead and get this started 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and get this started. So first thing you want to do is grab your, you can either grab a one fourth drive, three eighths drive, whatever you got. Well, it's, a, it's a eight millimeter socket bolt, however, that's all you really need is eight millimeter. All, the only thing we're really doing is just taking off this bolt right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. We're taking off this bolt and we're gonna take off this little hose connected to the filter. So let's go ahead and start that, guys. Loosen it up. Once it's loose, that should be good. Loosen it up. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull out the filter like this to the side. Make sure you pry the little tube off from the next to it. And then you're gonna angle it up and you're gonna pull it out just like that. So as you can see, real quick, real quick thing, real, you know what I mean? Got it done real quick. Air filter, like I said, doesn't look that bad, but it's time for a change. All right, guys, but that's the, that's the easy part. Well, that's just, that's just, it's all easy in general, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and start putting a new one on. We're gonna go ahead and clean out this little area from all the dirt and dust or whatever. So don't have to worry about that being in there and then we'll go ahead and put on a new one. But for this one, let's get this one out of here. Wipe it down, grab your rag. You might want to throw a little bit of water on it. If it's not wet, you want to grab all that dirt off of it from the inside of the little air intake area. Wipe it down, it's not too much. I already cleaned it about a good couple months ago when I changed out the, the uh, actual air oil cooler. Changed out the oil cooler, I already wiped it down before, so it's not that dirty in here. Wipe it down, give it a good once over. Doesn't look bad, mean to me. Real quick once over, nothing too crazy. All right, that's done. Let's go ahead and grab the new one. Got our box and you're also gonna want, if you don't got a, a knife like me, I usually carry a knife on me, but you don't got a knife, you're gonna use a flat head open at the box. We got it open. As you can see, we got the new air filter packaged up, wrapped up nice. Let's go and take this off. Oh, they sealed it. Let's come open it up. And just look at the difference, guys. Let's do a comparison real quick. As you can see on the inside, like it looks white up in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like white. My old one's like dirty. Like you can see all the dirt in there. Fresh blue filter, as you guys can see. Let's go check out the old one real quick. So next to each other, you can see the difference, definitely. Look how more like lighter this one is, and this one's a little more darker blue. So this is how this one, this is how this one, this one is how this one came when I first put it in there. So as you can see, it definitely needed to be changed out. I'm happy we're doing that. And it does come with one of these uh, little um, tightening bolts, however, whatever you call them. But yeah, guys, let's go and do that switch out real quick. And again, just like how you took it out, you're gonna put it back in the same way. So you're gonna have it at an angle, and you're gonna go insert it just like this. Oh, first, but I almost forgot, guys. Be first, for, before we do that, let's go ahead and get the sleeve and put the sleeve on there. Almost forgot about the sleeve, y'all. Let me open up the sleeve real quick. So the sleeve is from Filter Wears. I've seen them all online. I got it off of Amazon. They got them on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think. So just a regular black one. Filter wears, as you can check it out. They make it from all sorts of uh, different, you know, cold air intake filters or air filters, however. So you can go ahead and purchase this on Amazon or just check them out online, filter wears, and you guys can find what you need for your intake. Also got the sticker, filter wears. But let's go ahead and uh, put the sleeve on. So once you open up the sleeve, it looks like this. 
it's like a right fit for it. So let's go ahead and put that over the new air filter. There you goes guys that's a perfect fit doesn't look too bad at all it does hide the blue but hey at the end of the day just to keep it clean i don't mind that also it just has this material where i guess the water just falls off of it so um that's a good like plus to that so let's go ahead and get this baby installed guys Again, just like how you took it out, you're gonna put it back in just the same way. Make sure everything's on there good. Go ahead and angle, push it onto the, the pipe. You're gonna wanna go ahead and turn it in and then grab your, your tube right here. You're gonna wanna place it inside the air filter. I think it's like a sensor, however. And then there you go. And that is basically install, y'all. Like I said, it's going to be a quick video. Let's go and tighten it down, and then we'll go start up the car. Let you guys hear it. You don't want it too tight, but you want it on there snug. Looks like it's not going nowhere, guys. I did have to go back a couple times just to redo it. Tighten up a little more. See, if you tighten it up too tight, it'll the little the little brakes, however, will slide off of it. So that's what I was running into. But like I said, easy install, guys. It's going to start it up so you guys can hear it and check it out. Give you guys a couple revs.
y'all hear it? Y'all hear that? <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's installed, guys. But yeah, guys, it's gonna be it for the install. I'll go ahead and give you guys the outro in one second. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for the install. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As you can see, we got everything settled in, tightened down. Got the new air filter with the uh, sleeve, air filter sleeve, sock, whatever you want to call it, from Filter Wares. We got the new Mopar air filter from OEM Dodge. So, you know, we're sticking OEM on the vehicle. But yeah, guys, um, I'm happy I got this done. You know, I could just tell it was probably like a little lag because, you know, it was dirty, however. But now we switched it out and now we don't really worry about that lag. But yeah, guys, I'm excited to also go ahead and be doing the um, throttle body pretty soon. I already got the throttle body. I literally have it in my trunk, but you know what I mean? I've been wanting to like, you know, actually enjoy the taser, you know, see how, you know, it, it reacts with my car and the sport mode and the custom mode and the track mode. You know, I want to first, you know, feel it out first and see the difference once I, you know, after I get a good feeling on that and then I'll go ahead and put it on the throttle body and we'll go ahead and feel the difference on that too. So that's what we're waiting on right now, guys. But as you can see, the engine bay is looking clean. We got everything set up. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.